Hi everyone, so today I want to do a quick little um, review and try out some different things from these sets that Diane Press sent for review um, recently. Uh, so they did send them free of charge and all opinions are my own and any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items to those links. So I'm focusing on these two items today because um, HSN will be having craft days every Tuesday throughout the month of March and today is the first one or I guess the next one because I think the other one might have been on the Tuesday also the actual you know craft day kickoff and um or craft month kickoff should I say uh these two should be what they're going to be focusing on today if you tune in I believe the craft show start at 8 eastern 8 p.m eastern so you can check that out um, on the program guide there on HSN's uh, site if you would like uh to make sure and um these are the two items they're going to be featuring through Diamond Press or for Diamond Press. Uh, that might change, but for now, this is what it looks like. So I want to uh, go over them again, just so you guys can have a fresh um, little review, you know, tutorial on them. So we do have the inspirations or inspirational um, stamp set. Again, I went through this uh, before with a lot of uh, more in depth, you know, talking about every single stamp on here. It is a lot of stamps. What's in my hand is <laughs> just a lot of stamps, which is really nice. Uh, lots of different fonts. Um, so I'm going to try this out today again, just for a little different uh, take than I did last time. I think the last time I did a embossed background with a embossed resist with a pretty um, kind of rainbow inking on the background. It was really, really nice, uh, really fun and really quick. So uh, I'm going to use this again today, as you can see. Here we go, lots of beautiful stamps. And it just, oh, the flowers are so pretty. I'm probably gonna be using the flowers today. And then we have this one, and I always get confused by the name. I think um, HSN has it as basics embellishments and tag set, or basic tag and embellishment set, something like that. Um, but I'm not sure why it's basics, because it's metallic and gorgeous, and it's so pretty. So let's look at this one All right quick. Of course, you have your little binder. Uh, I think somebody had asked me recently if you can remove them. I don't know if she means these things or what, but no, these are in here. You can refill them. You add other things in later, but um, this is what it is right now. So let's see. So as far as the tags, we do have tags. On this side, we have silver tags or tags with silver on them, silver foil. If you can see that, the circle and then the little striped one. On the other side, we have basically the same, but in gold. You see that? We have the little clothespins in white, a gold metallic and silver metallic. We have the embellishments that are half pearls, and if it looks like it's used, because I used it recently, I've been using this here and there in different videos, so that's why some of the pieces are missing here. Uh, but we have the uh, silver and the gold. Um, this, I'm gonna show you something fun to do with this. I did it in a video the other day, but I'll do it here just in case, because people are focusing on this particular item. Um, super cute, so uh, it has like a raffia feel, these uh, pieces of twine. As you can see, this is more of your baker's twine where it's like uh, cotton based, you know, with the little um, uh, kind of gold or silver sparkle through there. These are more like a raffia feel. They're more paper based is how I feel them. Um, a little bit waxy. Uh, we have it in a white, a gold, and a metallic. And then these other ones that are kind of more of a wrapped or corded feel are dark gray, a lighter gray, and like a little yellowish kind of tone. And then we have um, rhinestones here. What's nice about these clear ones that I've shown you before is that you can take your alcohol ink markers and color them in and they're whatever color you want for whatever project that match perfectly, maybe even back to whatever you were coloring, you know, however you were coloring it. So that's really uh, nice and fun there. And then we have the little yellow kind of goldish ones. And then there's a stamp set in here, which the first time I was like, oh, because <laughs> uh, I hadn't noticed that. Uh, that's pretty cool because, again, obviously this is reusable forever and ever. So we have these guys. So what I'm going to do is pull out um, some inks and some different things. We'll try out some quick uh, little projects we can do with uh, this set. And then we'll do something with um, a card or something like that with the stamp set. I'll be right back. Okay, so one thing I um, showed the other day how to do is to make a bow just using your fingers. And this is a really old kind of trick that you can do. But I really love the way it came out with this, I don't want to say stuff, but it's really nice. Again, it has a raffia feel, kind of like paper-based. Um, let me remove this tape here. And I'm going to show you how to make a bow that you can add to any project real quickly with this. So I'm just going to open this up. This stuff is just so pretty. So I'm going to leave it the way it is right now. This one's kind of a little bit more compressed. This one is nice and flat, and you can use either one um, to do this. 
And basically we're gonna start off and all you're gonna do is put your, and you can do this with anything, but uh, ribbon, things like that. Uh, the, the baker's twine, same thing. I showed just a few days ago on how to do that in a different uh, video. But you can start off with the um, ribbon or, you know, in this case, our little uh, raffia twine here in front. And then you're gonna go behind your finger and you're basically making a loop. So you're looping it around and then you're gonna loop it around your middle finger and you're gonna loop it around your pointer finger again and back in front, looping it around your middle finger. Now that would make two um, little areas of your bow, you know, like coming out here. Let me adjust this a little bit. Let me bring it more this way. And I'm gonna do three this time. So I'm gonna take it around again and bring it back down. All right, so we're gonna have three. And then what you're gonna do is go ahead and bring this up behind your finger and I am gonna cut this off because at this point you have to stick that end through your fingers and it's much harder to do if it's still attached here. So I'm just gonna cut it off like about here. Okay, so again, just over, around, over, around. You're just making loops. And you see what it looks like, they're like figure eights. Now at this point, we're gonna take this and put it back over everything in between your fingers. So it just crossed over everything, went down here. And when we come back around over here, we're going to loop it under this area that's crossing over, under that, just that strip, just under that area, and over this way. Give it a little tug. Now this is paper, so I'm gonna be more careful with it. Okay. And now you can get it off of your fingers if you didn't do it too tightly. I was, I just, I did that a little bit tight. <laughs> so let's go here. And if you hold it in your hand, you can still give it another tight squeeze there. If you pull this other one, and I always want to do it, you're going to shrink it down. So just pull the one. And now you have this beautiful little bow that you can use on any project. And it has the three little um, loops. Isn't that cool? I just love the way it looked with this paper. Uh, it just feels so nice. So that's one little thing I wanted to show you guys that you can try out. Hopefully I went slow enough. I think it's pretty easy. Start in front, go around and around and around and around. You can keep going, I guess, the whole length of your fingers if you really wanted to. So there's that. Um, another idea I had uh, real quickly is just to use it as a tag, of course. So I'm gonna grab, maybe this one. Of course, um, you know, there's lots of tags in here, so that's what it's for. The reason I usually look at things that more of a embellishment, you know, for embellishments. I'm gonna get this guy out. And just simply stamp, oopsie, to and from on here. And since we're going into springtime and things, I'm gonna stamp it in pink. But, um, you know, you can put you're so sweet. I just want you to see how these things might fit on here. Hello, thinking of you. Made with love, I think maybe that's more for the circular one. Hello friend, cute. So let's get to and from. And then there's little swirl pieces we can use. We'll use those again in just a minute. Or not again, but we'll use them in just a minute. <laughs> uh, let's see here. And if you wanna put these on a stamp positioner, you know, that's up to you. I'm just going to go for it and just put two. And from so sweet. I'm gonna grab some twine. And I use silver, so I'll use silver again. Let me find where the opening or the beginning of this is. A lot of times what you just do is kind of feel for it, look around and see where it might have ended or began or begun. I guess began is the word. All right, I uh, will be right back. Yeah, it was kind of right there where I was tugging in the first time, so there it is. You can also just cut into it if you feel like uh, maybe, you know, just cut it. You're always gonna make your own beginning. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a piece here. Just put it in here and make a little bow just because I like bows. And then my kids, we already have Easter candy, of course. So I just put some, so cute. Just put some little Easter candy in these little cellophane bags that I pretty much always have. And I'm going to just put this on here with a little clip and it just looks really cute. Um, and just that simple. Okay, you can tie it in the whole 
little bag with this, you know, around it, but I thought it'd be cute to incorporate the little clippy. So I put it like this. And, oh, I'm gonna say I'm using a silver clip, but the white clip would look really cute too, especially with the spring feel. But just take your little clippy, and there you go. Little goodie bag, super cute, simple. Let me clear the decks here, and we're gonna try a couple other things. Okay, so full disclosure here, I went to edit and I saw that I put the to and the from in the wrong spot in this next section. So let's just pretend my mind wasn't still in tag mode. Sorry guys, uh, these things happen. Alright, let's continue. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is show you just to use the things to um, address an envelope basically. And... Um, what I think is really cute, I just noticed there's more than just one to and from. I just grabbed that one, and it's very sweet and very cute for that tag anyway. But we have to and from, and then we have this one that looks a little bit more handwritten. This one's a little bit more formal looking, you know, however you like. So I'll try this one this time. And if you've ever received maybe a thank you card or however from me, you know sometimes I like to put... Um, I'm just going to use this Black Shadow Nouveau Hybrid ink because it dries fast, but... Um, I do prefer for something like this uh, versifying ink because it's just so crisp and pretty. But um, I like to put little swirls under where I wrote the person's name or however. So it's kind of interesting that this set has little swirls. So I'm just eyeballing this. If you want to use, again, a stamp positioner, you know, go for it. We have two. We have from. And then, like I said, I usually put little swirls. So it's kind of nice that this has a couple different swirls here. I'll use this one. And, of course, I would put my information and then put the other person's information, then do the swirl. But for now, we're just going to guesstimate where I might have that. So like here, and I'll put it under my name too. And I usually just like to fill it out and then have that and then just have a little swirl under there. And I just usually draw it by hand and this is much prettier. <laughs> So you can see there, uh, really cute. I have another one here, just another way to use it. Um, let's do to and from again. Um, you know what, I'll put these back and I'll use the other font just so you can kind of see that. Let's get to and from, oh, hold on. Not you, buddy, go back. And let's put this here and again, stamping that up. This is so cute, it just looks a little bit um, like handwritten. Two. And from. And then uh, this cute little flower here, I thought we can take that and just pop her down somewhere. Maybe in there. And I'm just using the black, but if you want to use other colors course. So cute. And then just to try it out, because I really love this font right here, I'll put hello on this back side. Oh, we have the made with love. That'd be really sweet for just cards, whenever you handmade cards or anything. Treats. You have that for the back of your card. Look at that. And they stamp really nicely. Um, yeah, as always. <laughs> All right, guys, let me uh, clean up a little bit. Those are a few ideas, maybe with the uh, new tags kit. And let's try out the uh, Inspiration stamp set, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, to use one of the stamp sets here, I brought out the Sending Hugs Slimline die. I know lots of you guys already have this. There are still some available in the single ship, so just the one shipment. I believe the auto ship sold out, but... Um, I'll have links for everything that's available at Diamond Press that's there on HSN. And since I got that, I do have a slimline um, card base. It's, again, 8.5 by 7, scored at 3.5. So when we fold it in half, it's an 8.5 by 3.5 inch card. And then we have our um, little base here that I'm going to stamp on. And I'm going to put that there. I think I'm going to just use this and just use it as a background, like something that just kind of melts into the background. And I really love this image here. It looks like an orchid and it kind of can fit in here that's what my idea was to put it like in here and as far as how I'm going to orient it I'm not quite sure yet but it might be more like this and go off the edge and then on the top too so sorry you can't see that there 
I think that's really pretty. So let me grab an ink. I was going to go with a deeper blue, but maybe I'm going to go with teal just so it just uh, kind of sits into the background. I'll be right okay. back. I'm going to use this Parakeet. It's a quick dry ink, and I think it'll be nice. It'll still pop a little bit. And I'm going to use this guy just so that I know when I get close I can manipulate it. We're going to ink this up. I'm just going to go for it. I think right there is good. And push it down and try to get this to help me. Ooh. And I'm going to do the same thing on the top. I'm just going to turn it over like this. And do the same thing. Ink it up and push that down. And I'll be right back. Okay. Just a really nice kind of hint of color in the background. I think that's lovely. Okay, I'm going to grab a sentiment um, die and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cut out from the same uh, slimline set these, the Sweet Friend sentiment, and I'm just going to um, lay these over one over the other and do a little drop shadow with that gold peeking out. So I'll just glue those two together and I'll be right back. And as I glue those together, I just start with like one side and kind of just manipulate it a little bit as I work with it just so it's nice and lined up. So I'm going to wait for this to set up just for a second. I think I'm also going to add some little rhinestones here and there. So let me think about what I want to do for that and I'll be right back. So I am going to pull out some of the rhinestones from our kit, but first I'm just going to go ahead and put this flat. Sometimes, you know, we put a lot of dimension in the levels that we build up on our cards and then people are curious as far as how to ship that or send it out so with this one I'm going to keep it a little bit flat other than the rhinestone so um, it'll just be an easy mailer and slim lines should go with a regular first class stamp because it's basically a business size envelope and you know business size envelopes or the regular smaller envelopes are you know um, the same price I don't know what that price is right now, but you know what I'm talking about, the first class stamp. Um, if it's like a five by seven or thicker, that's when they start adding the little extras and they give you like that butterfly stamp. <laughs> and that one's, you know, 20, 30 cents more or however. But I'm gonna put this right in the center. I'm not gonna pop it up like, you know, pop it up or anything. What's nice about drop shadowing is that they're easier to pop up because sometimes it's hard to pop up something that has very fine lettering. But since there's two layers and it kind of doubles up, it gives you some extra room to uh, put dimensional adhesive under. But I'm just going to put this here. And have you where that is before I really push it down. A little bit up there. I'm going to keep that down. I'll be right back with the rhinestones. It's funny guys, you know, I always talk about auditioning things. <laughs> uh, what I love is that these are on these carriers, so I brought them both out. My initial idea was to use rhinestones, because, you know, why not? But then I was like, oh, you know, the silver pearls would look really cute, but then I used the gold in the background. Maybe I should use silver in the background. Um, and so now I have the gold half pearls. I don't know, everything, they're all so pretty, you know? And I guess you can do a mix of both, you know, if you wanted to, I think. Oh, I really like the silvery ones, even with the gold. You know what? I'm just going to make a choice, and I'm going to use the silver ones, too. <laughs> These silvery kind of based ones here. So let me get this off of here. And... You know, you can put them in the middle of your flowers, but I figure I'll just leave them like that. Oh, let me move this out of the way, just so you don't have so much glare. And I like to mix and match the size of the little pearlies that we're using. So that's a little guy, and then this is the medium-sized guy. And just put them here and there. And I'll probably do the same at the top and pretty much echo it, but um, you do not have to do that. If your little adhesive comes away from your half pearl, because it's basically plastic, you can just place it right back on there. Okay. And I'm just going to echo the same thing up here. So that is the dimension um, on this card. And that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. Hopefully I give you a few little ideas kind of on how to use the other... I'm trying to think... Where I want to put that. And, you know, with the stamps, um, of course, the sky's the limit. So there's that. Really nice, um, well thought out set. I really, really like that um, 
basics <laughs> set, as they call it there. So here are some different ideas, and maybe I should have decorated, you know, a slim line to go with this guy, but uh, envelope. But there it is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll have the links there again. The shows, I do believe, start at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'll have the info in the uh, description box, and anything that's available at Diamond Press that's still on HSN site will be linked there, too. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.